Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You're here with Be Glam, and for today's video, we are going to be talking about my summer must haves. There are certain things that a girl likes to do, meaning she, I, when certain seasons come, I like to switch my makeup up. There are certain things I like to do, certain things that I don't like to do. And now that we are in the spring approaching summer, one of my things and one of my tips and my tricks that I like to do is during the summertime, I absolutely love to wear a good lip gloss. As I mentioned before, I am a lip gloss fanatic. I love lip gloss no matter what time of year it is but during the summer I specifically wear it especially during the day I live in Florida so it's very very hot here it's very muggy here so I like to keep it as natural as possible basically what I have on now this is natural for me sometimes a liner this time I don't have any liner on other than that it's gonna be something simple on my lips now when nighttime hit that's very different the sun has gone down the cool the temperature has cooled very little but I like to do a little bit more for the glam night for the night light so I'm just going to talk about my summer must have lip glosses and it just so happens there are four of them and they are with the minted cosmetics brand I really really love this brand it's um, for women of all color but they really kind of target women of color to give us some news that really go uh, with our skin complexion um, more so not for dark skin girls but all skin complexions but I feel like they really cater to the darker end for those who really feel like they can't find anything everything is different for everybody so of course these work for all women no matter what skin tone no matter what shade it look beautiful on all but the darker you get or at least for me I feel like sometimes I can't find pinks and I can't find oranges yes I can go to those brands that claim that they have them but then when I put them on what are they gonna look like are they gonna be chocolate are they going to be looking crazy? Am I going to be looking like a hot mess out here? And nine times out of ten, that is the case. I have been able to freak a couple lip glosses to make it look right. I can't do that. I can't ombre it and all that. But sometimes I don't be wanting to do all that work. I just literally be wanting to slap something on and just go on about my day. So I found these lip glosses with Minted Cosmetics. They have a trio edition. Um, I did switch out some of the lip glosses so I don't have the exact trio but I do have two of the colors that belong to the trio so uh, if you guys want you a good lip gloss that's got a little color in it that's buttery that smooth has a great application and it's just a simple gloss this is your go-to gal okay this is her so the colors I chose are Pink About Me, Correlation, Mauve Over, and Sin Nudes. Um, as I said, they have a couple other colors. They have a lot of colors, actually. So these are not what you're limited to. These are just some of my favorite ones. These are the ones I felt like made me feel lit and made me feel popping as a chocolate girl. So I'm just going to show you guys what those look like, and um, we're going to go from there. Okay, so the first color we're going to try is the Pink About Me. I don't know about you guys, but I often have a really hard time trying to find a soft pink, and that's what this is. This is a soft pink, and sometimes they can look very chalky. They can look, which is going to basically give off white and, and just crustiness and just not. Nah, that's not what it is. So um, this definitely caught my eye because I was like, what is this going to look like? I felt like they kind of got it down, but you never know. You got to try it on and see what's popping. So I'm going to try it on and see what kind of vibes I get from it. But I do like that it's a soft, like pastel-ish kind of pink. Um, this is the swatch here. It's very light. So I just like to um, get some pinks that have some type of tint in them. So we're gonna try it on and see what it gives us back. Okay, so first things first, let me say that one, it smells like candy to me. <laughs> Two, it is so smooth and so buttery. Wow. It is not sticky. It does not even give the effects of being sticky. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it is a nice pink color. And this is what I've been looking for. This is exactly the kind of pink I have been looking for. I can definitely see it. You can see there's a pink on my lips, but it's not bright. It does not look ashy. It doesn't look any of those things. Let me just get a little closer so you guys can see. But holy cow. This is the pink that I have been looking for, for sure. As you can see, it's, a, let me get a little closer. It's definitely pink. It's very minimum though. It's a tint, it's a gloss, it's smooth. I love it. I love it. And this is why it's one of my summer must-haves. So we're going to go ahead and do our next color. Second color we're going to do is Sin Nudes. 
they have a ton 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 of browns but this is my absolute favorite brown um as far as the glosses are concerned um it gives a nice brown tint but nothing too crazy uh let's see let me show you the swatch here you can see it there so it gives a nice little brown tint as i was saying before but it doesn't like overpower where it's super super dark it's still brown but it's still going to give you a banging lip gloss i'm going to try that one on can you guys see that this brown is so bomb i love this brown look at this it is so nice and like i said they are super super creamy and they are so soft but do y'all see this this is a nice brown this is a nice brown it's got a nice tint and it's still smooth and it's still lip gloss so once again it doesn't even look like a nude. My lips are like naturally pink anyway. So it's not going to look like super, super nude on me because I have a natural color to my lip. But I love this. It is so nice. Let me just get a little closer. It gives me a little bit of brown, but it does not overdo it. We're going to try on our next color. Okay, so the next color we are going to try is our Mob Over, which is like a pink color. I had a really good experience with Mob a couple of months ago, as you know. I did the Maybelline uh, Made for All lip glosses, and they had a Mob lipstick, and it was bomb. It was phenomenal. It looks so good. So I'm actually not afraid of this. I feel like people are really starting to kind of get it down um, for women of all colors and um, more specifically for women of color. So I feel like they're getting better with this a little bit. We're not going to take it too far and say they got it down to a science. Well, some companies are better than others. Some companies actually care to do it, and you have companies that don't care to do it. But the ones who are actually taking their time, like Maybelline and Minton and whatnot, um, and I'm sure there are other brands out there, Juvia's Place and whatnot, um, they're actually kind of getting it. I feel like they're kind of getting it. So this is the next color, Mob. Give you a look at that one. It's like a nice pink color here. So we're going to try that one out, see what that looks like. All right, same texture, still smooth, still nice. Still gives us a nice pink color. I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. They nailed this color. They nailed the lip gloss. I still get the pink. I still get the smoothness. I still get the lip gloss look. So no matter for me so far, the colors I've tried on, I have a natural look. So they are, have gone, each one has gone with every single one of my looks, which is natural, <laughs> but each color has gone with my look. So that already says a lot right there because sometimes, you know, if you have a certain kind of look, you may not want to do certain things or whatever. Everybody's different to each his own. I know for me, when I do certain things with my makeup, there are just certain things that I don't like to do. And like I said, it's seasonal for me. So during the seasons, I like to change up my look and do different things. And this lip gloss thing, she's it. She's it. They did a really good job with this and it looks it looks really nice and it still gives me that pink look, but it's still neutral. It's still very complimenting to my skin complexion, which is a major thing. You can put something on and it can be like, oh yeah, you can see it, but is it complimenting? Does it look crazy? Are you out here looking crazy in these streets? Or is it like, yo, that's nice and subtle. That looks really good. You know, are you, <laughs> is it making you noticeable for the right reason? But to me, she is lit. I like her. Mauve is really starting to be my go-to girl when it comes to a pink. As long as the formula is right and it look right, Mauve seems to be showing up and showing out as of lately. So let's try our next color. Okay, so our last color is Correlation. I love, love, love oranges. I love coral. Um, I've been into them the last few years um, and they've really, they haven't let me down yet. So I have high hopes for this. I already know that it's gonna look good. If everything else don't look good, this bad boy is definitely gonna look good. So I wanted to give me some orange vibes, so I hope that that's the case. But let me just show you. All right, and there is the orange there. You can definitely see it, or coral, I should say, which is like a pink and orange, obviously. But let's try that on. All right. Point proven. Nice and orange. Let me get next to you. Nice and orange. Still complements my natural look. Still looks really nice. Still creamy. Still gives me a tint of color, but not overwhelming. 
it looks so good like how can you not have these this summer how could you not they look so 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 good wow they nailed it i think these colors nailed it and like i said they have a ton of other lip glosses that i do not have but these were the ones that i really really liked just from looking at them online and that i really wanted to review but these are definitely summer must-haves definitely definitely if you're a lip gloss girl and if you want to just kind of be cute and keep it real neutral and whatnot like i said i keep it very very neutral during the summertime during the day so at night um i can turn up <laughs> so thank you so much for watching my video guys i hope that you like the glosses maybe you guys can try them out for yourselves like comment subscribe to my channel let me know if you guys have these um especially the colors that i don't have i would like to know how those ones looked as well how they look for everybody the ones even if you have the ones that i have let me know how those worked for you if you felt like the formula was really good or if the color payoff was just as good for you as it was for me because i'm absolutely in love with these like i feel like i need to go order more that's how in love I am. So these are some summer must-haves that I absolutely vouch for. So if you have a chance, go ahead and go out, buy those, see how they work for you, and let me know what you guys think. Thank you for watching my video. We'll see you next time.